The next morning, we hit Dakar's daily rush hour, by which I mean it lasts all day. To get out of this city is going to be a, well, it's going to be a mission in itself. I mean, if you look at this. The Shundaban is a seven to nine hour drive from here, so we're going to get set in for a long journey. The Sundarbans mangrove forest is one of the largest in the world at an estimated 140,000 hectares. And it's the hunting ground for the Malojele fishermen, who have practiced fishing with otters for over 200 years. And this traditional technique will be my chosen method of fishing, if I ever get there. To reach them, I'm traveling just under 300 kilometers southwest, crossing the Padma River to the port town of Mongla, where I'll catch a boat into the Sundarbans. We're gonna take our tire off. Oh, it's gonna be close. Okay. Clearly, um, there are some very keen people to get onto the ferry here. He's obviously done something he wasn't supposed to do. We're through, we're through. Yeah, let us through. That was an experience. And it's not over yet. We've not moved a single inch, and I'm pretty much dying of heat exhaustion in this car. It is swelteringly hot. And after a four-hour wait in nose-to-tail traffic, we finally board. Finally, we're on. I don't even know how long it takes to get across this river. I'll tell you how long it takes to get on the ferry to get across the river. It turns out that the crossing will be another three hours. The Padma River is the main channel of the Greater Ganges and a vital shipping and trade route, literally splitting the country in two and limiting access to Bangladesh's seafood in the process. A lot of the fish that is eaten internally in Bangladesh is fresh water, and it's because of this river. It stops all the seafood getting up there. So if you want to get to the seafood, you have to cross this and go another couple of hours. They're actually building a bridge over this, but it's going to take them another, well, at least three years. Some say up to eight years, maybe, to complete it. And when they do complete it, it will have a massive impact on the economy of Bangladesh. Once across, Mongla is another three-hour drive. Coming to the end of the day now. It's a good 12-hour journey under our belt so far. And we're still not at our destination. It takes a long time to travel across this country. 